Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to increase your video editing workflow. And I know you guys will question me how to make this particular HUDs in your videos and I've already made a video on that for Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro I've left the download link in the description so if you guys actually want to use that particular plugins in your videos you can just check the description or just visit my store that is pretty much it so back to the video in this particular video we're going to talk about how to increase your video editing workflow I always get the question of Sammy how to increase your video editing workflow I always get the question of my laptop is not fast enough, my laptop always hangs, my computer always uh, slows down etc. Now I know the computer specs does matter in video editing but one thing or rather two things you can actually change in your laptop or your computer which can actually increase your video editing workflow. First is the hard disk and second is the RAM. I'm not going to talk about RAM in this particular video rather I'm going to talk about external storage. Now, I know many people out there edit off an external hard disk and I know why they do that because external hard disks are very cheap, they are very portable and they are really good in storages but you should not actually edit off an external hard disk. It is really dangerous for the hard disk lifespan as a whole. Second of all, it is comparatively a lot slower. So I would say don't edit off an external hard disk, rather edit off an external SSD. Now I know what you guys want to say, external SSDs are very costly, right? But trust me, I have been in the same place as you guys. I have also edited off an external hard disk. It has been a really bad experience for me and when I just shifted from external hard disk to external SSD, the speed just blew my mind. Trust me, it just blew my mind. So basically in this particular video, we're going to talk about this particular Sabriant Nano external SSD and it is a 1TB SSD but you guys can definitely use the 512GB, 1TB or the 2TB version depending on whatever you guys want to. The purchase link is there in the description. So speaking of this particular SSD as general, it is really fast first of all. It is made up of a very good quality aluminium or a metallic structure. Third of all, it costs only $150 for the 1TB version which is like $20 less than the Samsung T5 but there is no compromise in speed or in quality. It is one third or rather one half of the Samsung T5. I don't know the exact dimensions of the T5 but from the pictures alone I can say that it is almost half the size of the T5. There are some pictures as a b-roll for this particular Sabriant SSD and as you can see it just a little bit longer in size than my iPhone lens and which is I feel really crazy and now I'm going to just say some of the advantages or rather some of the advantages of the SSD over an hard disk first of all hard disk crashes really easily which is not good for video editing right second of all it is very slow the transfer the read and write speed of hard disks are very slow it is like around 50 megabytes per second to like 100 megabytes per second which is not good for video editing you cannot actually edit i feel that you can actually edit like a 1080p footage but not more than that but with an ssd rather this particular ssd which i am using i can edit 4k 60 fps footage right off this particular ssd which i feel is really amazing 60 fps 4k footage if you guys don't know it actually triples the damn out of your computer it triples the damn out of your hard disk as a whole and it actually slows down a computer any computer rather than it be the fast computer out there or the slowest computer out there 4k 60 fps will actually triple any kind of computer out there but with an ssd this can be minimized a lot because the read and write speeds are so fast it can be really used to actually edit off it now one suggestion which i will give to see whether your hard disk can actually edit and 4k 60 fps footage will be to test out with the black magic disk speed uh, software so as you do the software speed just as i'm doing right now as you can see it is around uh, it varies around 650 megabytes per second to 950 megabytes per second but this is the speed which i'm getting right now and as you can see there are tick marks and there are cross marks right so as you can see in the lower panel in the lowermost panel there is 4k 60 fps which means that you can edit a 4k 60 fps or read or write a 4k 60 fps of this particular ssd and I know there are some few crosses also, for example, the 
ProRes raw footages for 4K 60 FPS and if you guys don't know what those are those are like the highest qualities of videos possible in this particular world itself and for that you guys will need a very very fast computer and a very costly SSD RAID quality SSDs out there but for only $150 I feel that it can do a really good job like you know 4K 60 FPS footages out of this particular SSD is amazing, really fast, really amazing and don't have to use proxies for this particular cases as well. Although I do prefer to use proxies because it gets a little bit more faster. For example, a 16 minute 1080 footage of an external hard disk will take around 30 minutes in my iMac 2019. And with an SSD, with an external SSD, it is taking around five minutes, which is like crazy. It was uh, when I just used it to export that particular footage, I was like just seeing that particular export bar just going from this side all the way to this side in just so fast. I, I was really startled at that particular results. And I'm not lying. I'm not just saying this off the air. I just experimented these things like two hours ago, which is really crazy. I just used the crap out of this particular SSD. I transferred gigabytes to gigabytes and gigabytes, 100 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes. I always give Instagram statuses as well. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, the link is here. I always show how much speeds I have off my SSDs, how I work, how my workflow, BTS and stuff, always there on my Instagram. You guys can definitely check it out. So the main point being, yeah, SSDs are amazing. And I don't think that I'll just look at uh, hard days the same way ever again because the transfer speed in SSDs super fast <laughs> super fast i just can't say enough of how fast an ssd is and how much time it can save you like 120 gigabytes in 10 minutes crazy super crazy and yes i'll just suggest to use hard disk also for one particular reason and that is for your storage and archiving purpose like if you're done with the project and if you know that you don't have to do any kind of revisions on that project ever again then just keep that particular project in your external hard disk and just store it, it anywhere what you feel like. And that is for your archiving purpose and I feel that is a good way of using a hard disk because it is cheap and there is a lot of storage available with it. But for SSDs, don't use it for storage only. That is totally, I guess, not a logical way of using it. I'll say just use it for editing of it because it is very portable. You can just take it with your computer, take it with your laptop to anywhere around this particular world and you can just edit off it. So yeah, that is my reason. Time is money, right? If your time is money, if you think that you need a faster speed, faster workflow, get an SSD. You won't regret it. Trust me, you are not going to regret it. Take it not from me, but all the other YouTubers out there on the internet or all the other content creators out there on the internet, they always say the same thing. Use an SSD use an SSD, it will actually take your workflow to the next level. Trust me, I cannot say this particular or I cannot stress this particular point more. Use an SSD. It is going to actually be a game changer for you guys. Trust me. So with that being said, this is the basic overview of how to actually improve your workflow using an SSD. And for this, I just use this particular Sabrent Nano external SSD, which is crazy amazing, crazy portable, crazy dope looking. It is metal, it's so it can actually look like your MacBook or your iMac. It looks really cool, it is so small. It is USB-C, which is rather the Thunderbolt ports. I don't understand those things really well, but I, feel, I know that Thunderbolt ports are really faster than a typical USB 2.0 or 3.0. So that is a really good thing to have, Thunderbolt where it also has the basic usb wire as well if you guys don't actually support thunderbolt and it is really good looking it costs only 150 dollars for the one terabyte version which is like 20 dollars less than the samsung t5 but as i said before it doesn't compromise on quality or on speeds the speeds are crazy the speeds are more than my internal hard disk or rather the fusion drive of my imac which is like super fast but my ssds are faster that is really good so my workflow has been really good with this particular new SSD and if you guys are interested in buying one, the link is there here or in the description below. So if you guys like it, please purchase it because I know you guys are not going to regret this. $150 might be a bit costly for some people out there but if you guys are using it on a regular basis, I feel that it is totally damn worth it for you guys. So with that being said, thumbs if you like it, 
comment down below if you guys like this particular product uh, subscribe to this particular channel if you guys want to see more such videos with that being said this is pixel sammy we'll be back with another video soon peace out